Greetings and welcome to The Home Slice. This is a standard intro if you already know what's up with my 40 millimeter manila rope testing, the Andy rope test, then you can skip to this time listed on screen. This is where the actual edge test begins. If you haven't been here before, then you've caught me in the middle of a testing series where I'm taking Victorinox knives because they're simple steel that's mainly just steel. There's not a bunch of extra alloys and carbide things going on in them. And I'm testing what different sharpening stones do to them. I'm testing fine, medium, and coarse stones individually. Then I'm taking the best from those and I'm making what's called a dual grit edge. If you're new to the channel, a dual grit edge is where you sharpen one side coarse or medium and the other side of the edge you sharpen fine. It has some really interesting characteristics. Usually it creates an, an aggressive edge that lasts longer than it normally would with either coarse or fine, with some exceptions, which we're testing to find out. Anyway, my test consists of, I've got a little goofy rig that I slice through a one centimeter thick sisal rope and it's on a 45 degree wedge. It's intended to transfer that force down. And then I measure how many kilograms of pressure it took to slice through the rope while holding the rope vertical. That's intended to take forward motion and quantify how much pressure it took to slice through. This gives you some rough idea of edge aggression. The next test is to cut through a 40 millimeter thick manila rope. And then I test on a best machine tester to test how keen and nice the edge stayed. I do that until it's over 400 grams on the best tester, checking with microscope and checking to see when it loses shaving capability in between tests. After three, I will hammer the edge into a pine piano leg, and that's just to see if any of the edges break on impact. There are certain sharpening methods I've found that create an edge that's not as robust to impact tasks. And I wanna kinda of weed those out because for a working edge, I want it to be reasonably durable. Anyway, that's what we're testing for today. In just a second, we'll skip right over to the test footage and I will let you know what the finishing stone that we're actually testing was. Just a note before we get started, some guys have asked for scaling and this is a measuring tape in millimeters. And as I try to get that mark on the left-hand side centered, I find I can't quite get the mark on the right on screen. So my best guess is that fully zoomed in, as all these tests are, my microscope, the full screen shoots about 1.8 millimeters. Now I've put 36 hyphens on screen, which means each of those is roughly 50 microns. So I'll bring that back later in the videos for scale. Decently good, best number. I figured that for our future of testing high vanadium steels, vanadium steels, however you say that, I ought to test what happens if you use all diamonds and CBN in a dual grit edge. The slicing aggression is pretty good, pretty average for a dual grit edge, which is pretty good in general. I've used a CBN 400 grit on the opposite side, and the side you're looking at now is a Veneve 3 to 5 micron OCB stone, which was used for the finish. I'm seeing a little bit of bending. When I was doing this testing, I did it in a big batch, and I wasn't as experienced with a microscope, but I have a feeling that that edge bending is going to come back to bite us in the end. I haven't always had great results on these Victorinox knives from the Veneve OCB Diamond Water Stones. Uh, some of that could be attributed to lack of skill, or maybe it's difficult to get rid of that final little burr. But I do know that the behavior of much harder or higher carbide or higher carbon steels will be much different than these Victorinox knives. So I wouldn't take any performance or lack of performance in this test as an indicator that it wouldn't be good to do a dual grit edge with CBN and diamonds on something that was a lot harder. But so far we've got really good numbers, under 300, which is very unusual. Here at the third pass, though, we've passed up to 565. 
This is fairly typical of what I've seen from the Veneve OCB stones in these Victorinox knives. I used to assume that softer steels were not as conducive to OCB and diamonds. Some of the testing that I'm doing now would suggest that actually you can use these hard abrasives, but you have to sort of personalize your stropping to account for the fact that the burr that it forms is a little bit different. I don't have a lot of information about that to share right now, uh, but if you want to look at my last test of a dual coarse edge, which was really interesting, it's on screen now. And for the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice. Bye.